So within this particular lesson of Play Like The Pros, I want to talk about something that not a lot of drummers tend to pay too much attention to. But I think we can all agree that the work that Annika herself has done within quintuplets over the last number of years is not only extremely impressive, but it's super inspiring. Now I can understand why a lot of people tend not to pay too much attention to quintuplets, but I always think, hey, why not if it's going to make you a better drummer? Now, this is not going to be a course on quintuplets. That is something I will be offering to you in good time. But because this is the first groove that I've covered um, with quintuplets involved, I wanted to make sure that I laid some sort of foundation behind them for you. So I did do a lesson before uh, um, previously on this channel where I went through in detail an exercise that included all the different lines of notation that we can play and quintuplets were in that exercise. And when I was talking about how I like to count quintuplets, I mentioned how I like to use the word university. So basically, university, 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 university. Now this is something that I picked up from Annika herself. I find it extremely helpful and it allows me to really lock in with that metronome and I'm sure it will do for you as well. So what we're gonna do is just a very quick warm up. I'm gonna play a line of quintuplets for you, really slow at 55 beats per minute. We're gonna be feeling these in 16ths. Now remember, quintuplets are in groupings of five, so pay attention to where you're going to be placing that accent. The accent is going to be on the first note within each of those groupings. So here we are, here's the warm up, nice and slow. Let's do this together at 55 BPM. So now all we have to do is take that same pattern and apply it up here onto the hi-hats. And this time we're going to keep those notes as even and as consistent as possible. Nice and straight, that really pushes the groove along nicely. We're also, you can see there by the notation, we're now um, playing the snare drum on the first note within beats two and beats four. And that gives us a backbeat whilst playing these quintuplets. Then all you have to do, the concept here is then to start adding in bass drums anywhere within the bar line to, and by doing this, you can create some really cool and interesting grooves. Now this is just one example here. I'm going to play it nice and slow for you at 55 beats per minute. So I also wanted to give you a good reference point here as to how this particular groove sounds at a higher tempo, plus this also gives you a personal goal and something to work towards. So once you're ready and you've been working with this for some time, here is the same groove again, this time at our goal tempo of 85 beats per minute.
So please do remember that this series is called Play Like the Pros for a reason. It's important that you learn this information, take it on board, and then adapt it into your own style of playing because that's what this is really all about. So I hope you don't shy away from quintuplets and they do show up in your playing somewhere down the road. I hope you enjoyed this particular lesson and make sure if you are new to the channel, go ahead, subscribe, turn the notification bell on so you are notified as soon as I upload a lesson and I will see you back all here on the channel very soon. Have a fantastic week.